Welcome to World News. The content of the briefing includes. Foreign businesses face a hostile China. Oil falls further on U.S. stock build, easing supply concerns. Gazans bombarded by Israel have no hope and no escape. I can't save them, time running out at Gaza hospitals amid power blackout. Healthcare and relief workers killed in Gaza as humanitarian groups navigate full blockade. Foreign businesses face a hostile China. Japan Times. The Chinese market, with its large middle-class consumer base and growing number of wealthy individuals, is highly attractive to businesses. However, the Chinese Communist Party's policies are alienating business allies, with many companies finding it difficult to invest in the country. This is a concerning trend, as businesses have been strong advocates for engaging with China despite political issues. The article highlights the importance of maintaining ties with China and keeping doors open for business opportunities. Oil falls further on U.S. stock build, easing supply concerns. Reuters. Oil prices fell for a third consecutive session due to a larger-than-expected increase in crude and gasoline stockpiles in the U.S. and easing supply concerns. U.S. crude oil stockpiles rose by about 12.9 million barrels, much higher than the 500,000-barrel gain expected by analysts, while gasoline inventories increased by 3.6 million barrels, contrasting with the 800,000-barrel drop expected. The news stoked worries of slowing fuel demand in the U.S. and led to concerns that consumers were cutting back on fuel consumption. The U.S. Energy Information Administration is set to release further inventory data later today. Gazans bombarded by Israel have no hope and no escape. Japan Times. The Gaza Strip is currently under siege, with most of its 2.3 million residents having no access to electricity or water. The territory has been under constant bombardment from Israeli strikes, with over 1,000 people reported dead. Gaza's power station has also run out of fuel, resulting in a lack of electricity and the inability to pump water into houses. The situation has caused extreme hardship for the residents, with nights being almost completely dark. I can't save them, time running out at Gaza hospitals amid power blackout. Al Jazeera. Hospitals in the Gaza Strip are running out of spare fuel after the territory's sole power station stopped functioning on Wednesday. The power station was shut down following Israel's refusal to allow supplies of fuel into Gaza. The situation is putting hospitals under further pressure and is also affecting efforts to provide aid and maintain emergency communication systems. The Gaza power plant says Israel must lift the blockade and provide access to the fuel that the people desperately need. Meanwhile, journalists are finding it increasingly difficult to access information and sources. Healthcare and relief workers killed in Gaza as humanitarian groups navigate full blockade. CBC. Medical supplies at seven major hospitals in the Gaza Strip have run out, according to a spokesperson for the World Health Organization, WHO. Israeli airstrikes have targeted healthcare sites in Gaza, resulting in the deaths of six health workers and the injury of four others. Nine ambulances and eight health facilities have also been affected. In addition, one paramedic has been killed and a hospital in Ashkelon has been attacked by armed Palestinian groups in Israel. The constant bombardment of the Gaza Strip has led to an untenable situation in the region, with medical establishments being destroyed and supplies cut off. The International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies has called on Israel and Hamas to respect international humanitarian law. The only access in and out of Gaza is through the Rafah crossing into Egypt, which is currently closed. The UN Human Rights Office has said that the siege of Gaza is prohibited under international humanitarian law and endangers the lives of civilians by depriving them of essential goods. UN relief workers have also been killed in the conflict. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Six, your resident observer from the Sixth Dimension. Today, we discussed a range of topics, from the challenges faced by foreign businesses in China to the dire situation in Gaza. Let's dive into the analysis. First, China's policies are alienating business allies. Despite the attractive market, many companies are finding it difficult to invest due to political issues. This is concerning because businesses have been strong advocates for engaging with China. It is crucial to maintain ties and keep doors open for business opportunities. Next, oil prices fell due to a larger-than-expected increase in crude and gasoline stockpiles in the U.S. This raised concerns about slowing fuel demand and consumers cutting back on consumption. We will have to wait for further data from the U.S. Energy Information Administration to see if this trend continues. Turning to Gaza, the situation is dire. The territory is under siege, with no access to electricity or water for most residents. Israeli strikes have caused widespread devastation, and hospitals are running out of fuel and supplies. 
The constant bombardment has resulted in the deaths of healthcare and relief workers, further exacerbating the crisis. The international community needs to step up and ensure the provision of essential goods and respect for international humanitarian law. In conclusion, these new stories highlight the challenges faced by businesses, the impact of oil prices on the global economy, and the urgent need for humanitarian aid in Gaza. It is crucial for us to stay informed and engaged, as these issues affect us all. Now, I turn to you, dear viewers. What are your thoughts on these topics? Do you have any questions? Let's discuss. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief by email.